hello YouTube welcome back to my video so in this video we are going to check how to create a PDF using Java so basically we'll be trying to uh, generate a normal PDF file and create a PDF file with the data from a database I mean from MySQL database and show the PDF file in the JSP with uh, hard-coded values in the uh, in that page and uh, show the pdf file in jsp with uh, data from the database so we'll be retrieving database data and showing that uh, in a pdf using the jsp okay so uh, this is my eclipse workspace so if you don't have your eclipse installed i have another video for that please go to the description i have put the video link there and uh, <clears throat> i'm going to create a new dynamic web project as we have to show uh, the pdf in in a web page also we have to go for dynamic web project And I'm given the name <coughs> as uh, create PDF. So all others I'm putting as uh, default. I'm going not going to change anything. Just uh, go next and next. And uh, we need web XML descriptor. Just click finish and wait for your uh, project to be created. Yes, uh, the project has been loaded. As you can see here, uh, there are web content and uh, this is a Java resource. So inside Java resources SRC package, I'm going to create a custom package. So just right click on the SRC and select new and select the package. And I'm giving the package as com.chillyfax.com and just click finish. So inside this, I'm going to uh, create a class. So the class name I'm going to create it as, uh, I'm going to give the class name as, so just give the name, uh, create PDF again. Okay. So, and just click finish and uh, let your class to be loaded. So I have already tested some code and created the PDF. So I'm just copy pasting the code here. Yes, I have just pasted the code to create the PDF. So the I have set the file name uh, as uh, chillyfax dot dot pdf it's pdf dot dot com and it will be generated in e drive and in a folder java dot uh, pdf this is the folder in e drive java pdf now that it's empty now and uh, we have to import a itext pdf jar first so to import it I'm just going to my uh, build path configure build path and it just in the libraries i'm going to add external jars and just navigate to the location where you have your jar so it's in my this folder so just come here and paste the link here and just double click on that and just insert into your build path and just press ok so uh, that error will be gone now just import this file just pressing uh, control space so it's from java.io just uh, double click on that and this is also from java.io okay yes we are ready to test and uh, this is uh, so it will be the pdf will be having these three text so this will be text one text two and text three so all these are uh, optional i am setting the um, font size and uh, uh, other information i mean uh, related to the content of that so yes we can just try to uh, run this just, just right click on uh, the class go to run as and the select run as java application and uh, just wait for the java to be executed the program to be executed yes it's executed so it's just printing done from this code now if you are going to see uh, the folder as i shown before and we can just open it and just see what is the content inside that yes so uh, the text has been generated with the uh, text one text two and uh, the paragraph okay so we are uh, we have just created the basic uh, pdf so let's try uh, adding an image to this pdf so we're going back to our code we can just add uh, the code to in, uh, add image from our local pc so before closing the document we can just uh, add the code for that so the code for that as is this one so let me copy this completely come to and paste it here so what this will do is this will add the image uh, by calling image.getInstant and from this link it will check 
uh, this chillyfacts.png and add to our PDF. Okay, so in this java.pdf now we don't have that image, so I'm going to add that from here. So let me copy this and paste it here in Java PDF. And this is uh, my chillyfax logo. Now let me go back to our code. So let me close this first and just run the code from as Java application. Yes, it's uh, done. Now let's try opening this uh, chillyfax PDF and see the image is there or not. Yes, I have just added uh, the chillyfax.com image in the PDF also. Okay, so this is how you can add an image uh, in the PDF in a sample uh, in a simple PDF file using Java. Okay, now let's go further uh, to check create PDF with the data from the database. Okay, so for that going back to our code, we'll first we'll have to create a, a connection class which is uh, getting connection to our database. So I have just created a db connection dot java uh, so this is a class which is getting connection to our database so this is basically connecting to a test uh, this is my uh, mysql client I have all these uh, databases in my mysql so there is a database named test so I am currently connecting to this database test and this is the username and password of my mysql and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, in this uh, test database there is a table date time so inside that uh, there is a uh, 14 values uh, with uh, a, a timestamp in, in that so I'll be uh, printing all these values in our uh, PDF file okay so uh, I'm just copying pasting uh, this one uh, create PDF dot Java and uh, renaming it as uh, create PDF from DB okay I'm uh, getting the code so from in inside this uh, inside this class I'm uh, after inserting our image I'm going to get the code to take uh, the values from the database and insert in uh, the PDF file okay so uh, the image uh, the file name I'm giving it as chillyfax underscore DB so we can understand that it's from the database okay Yes, I have just added the code to get uh, the information from, uh, I mean, uh, the data from the date time table and uh, get in uh, our PDF, okay? So first we are just calling a DB connection uh, class and I mean an object and getting the connection to a connection object and this is a query to take the values and uh, here I'm just creating a statement to get all the data from uh, the table, uh, this table and uh, uh, in this while loop i'm iterating that and uh, uh, the result set which is having all the data and printing a one by one as a paragraph okay yes we are uh, all ready to all run now let's try running this one just go to run as uh, run as java application and uh, wait for yes it's done i mean uh, it's uh, taken and uh, generated the file let's go and uh, check uh, the tape I mean check the uh, PDF here is the PDF so let me open it here it is so it has taken all the values from the database and added in the PDF file okay so that's all about uh, taking from database and showing I mean adding in the PDF file okay now we can further move on to uh, showing this data same data in a JSP page so for that I'm going to create a new uh, JSP page now uh, go to new uh, so it's the SP page and given the JSP page as uh, create PDF and uh, dot JSP and just create it. Now I'm getting the code to now uh, make this uh, as the JSP with all the content uh, from the create PDF. Okay, same content as the create PDF. Yes, I have just created uh, the create uh, PDF dot JSP with the same content of uh, this create PDF dot Java. So what we'll uh, be doing like uh, if you run this one as server this will be generated in a JSP page or web page. So let's try running in a server. So just right click and select run as run server. And we will have to select I'm going to select uh, Tomcat 6 and just click next. Now before that we have to add that yeah it's ready. Just click next and just select finish and wait for your uh, server to be started 
guys uh, the project has been loaded so let's try this uh, from a chrome browser so if i'm just pasting the link and pressing enter it should load uh, the j uh, the pdf file yes uh, the pdf file has been loaded in our chrome so this is how you can generate now the same one uh, we'll try with uh, the database with the database thing so let me copy paste uh, the same create pdf and i'm giving the name as uh, db here remove all these and uh, take the same thing from the db here so let me copy all these again and come to this uh, pdf db and before the close just add the same here and import all these thing just press control space so it will be uh, you will get suggestion to get uh, downloaded i mean uh, imported so just import one by one these all from java.sql and the result set is also from java.sql yes it's we are all ready to run this again now to run this just right click select run as run on server let me copy the same link uh, to my chrome browser paste the link and let's see the output from here yes so the pdf has been generated from uh, the database uh, data also okay so uh, that's all for now uh, about uh, taking data uh, pdf uh, creating pdf with uh, dynamic data and uh, the data hard coded data okay so what if you want to draw uh, some lines and tables in the pdf so i'll uh, share one more source code of uh, the page which i have uh, created for one of my clients so it is generating a paisley profile uh, the stuff so it's well designed you can set the page height width everything so i'll show you that one also so I have just added a, uh, a another page payslip uh, one dot jsp so this is somewhat de designed one so let's try uh, running this one copy the link and come back to our chrome and just see it here yes this is the page what I uh, told so this is custom uh, design with, uh, uh, with custom height and width and I have added a header here and an image so i have drawn a table here and drawn some lines so all these i have done using uh, java code okay so i'll share this the source code of this one you can have it so this is actually hard coded if you want to take it from database uh, as the previous page you can do it you can just uh, call the database uh, database connection here uh, this one and you can show all that in this page also okay so if you have uh, that's all for now if you have any doubt in this uh, please comment below i'll be helping you i'll share all the source code uh, through in my description you can have it and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching